The police officers involved in a controversial traffic stop of a black and Latino army officer in December has been fired. Body camera footage shows Windsor, Virginia police officers Joe Gutierrez and Daniel Crocker pointing their guns at Army 2nd Lieutenant Karan Nazario before Gutierrez pepper sprays him. Lieutenant Nazario was released without being charged and he is now suing both officers. CBS News correspondent Christina Ruffini has the story. What's going on? How many occupants are in your vehicle? It's only myself. Why are your weapons drawn? What's going on? The door slowly. Step out. Get out. Get out of the car. Get out now. I have not committed any crime. In body camera and cell phone video, Army 2nd Lieutenant Caron Nazario, still in his uniform, holds his hands out the window of his new car, while two Windsor, Virginia police officers, guns drawn, order him to get out. I'm honestly afraid to get out. Can I? Yeah, you, you should be. Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Get your hands off me, yeah. please. Get your hands off me. You know what? Get your hands off me. Not Get your hands off me. Up, I didn't do anything. Don't do that. Sir, I... Nazario repeatedly asks why he's been pulled over before ex-officer Joe Gutierrez pepper sprays him through the open window. Sir, just get out the car. I'm trying to breathe. Ugh. My dog is in the back. My dog is choking right Get now. Get out of the car. Nazario is then kicked, forced to the ground, and put in handcuffs. Why am I being treated like this? Why? I'm not cooperating. The incident report says Nazario was pulled over for not having tags displayed on his SUV. But the temporary dealer plate is visible in the officer's body cam video. The report also said officers treated it as a high-risk stop because Nazario had tinted windows and drove at a very low speed to a gas station before pulling over. A move Gutierrez later said he understood. As far as you not stopping and you're too uncomfortable and you wanted a wellness spot, because that happens at all times. He did everything that we are told to do to, to for everyone's safety. Attorney Jonathan Arthur represents Nazario. When you look in your rearview mirror and you see two firearms trained at you, you got to get real calm, real quick, if you want to get out of there alive. You know, it's a credit to his training. What are you, a specialist? Court, what are you? I'm a lieutenant. Look. According to the lawsuit, the officers also threatened to derail Nazario's military career if he pursued further action against them. If you want to just chill, let this go, and no charges filed, we'll take the handcuffs off, we'll get your bottle of water to drink on, and sit here until you feel comfortable driving. Now, after that search of his vehicle turned up no violations, Nazario was released without charge. The governor of Virginia has asked state police to investigate the incident. CBS News reached out to the Windsor Police Department. We did not hear back. Anthony Nazario's attorney said he wanted to file the lawsuit to hold these two officers accountable. And so these kinds of stops stop happening. Christina Ruffini, thanks, Christina.